Hello, and welcome to day 4 of Advent of Cyber. Today's challenge is called Scanning Through the Snow. So let's go to TrackMate and let's get started. During the investigation of the downloaded GitHub repo, Elf Recon McRed identified a URL, qasantagift.shop, that is probably used by all the elves with admin privileges to add or delete gifts on this Santa website. The website has been pulled down for maintenance. Now Recon McRed is scanning the server to see how it's been compromised. Can you help McRed scan the RET network and find the reason for the website compromise? So the learning objectives for this challenge is what is scanning, the different types of scanning, the techniques for scanning, and the tools used for scanning. So scanning is a set of procedures for identifying live hosts, ports, and services, discovering the operating system of the target system, and identifying vulnerabilities and threats in the network. These scans are typically automated and give an insight into what could be exploited. Scanning reveals parts of the attack surface for attackers and allows launching targeted attacks to exploit the system. So there are two types of scanning. Passive scanning, which is uh, involves scanning a network without directly interacting with the target device, server, computer, etc. Uh, passive scanning is usually carried out through packet capture and analysis tools such as Wireshark. However, this technique only provides basic asset information like the operating system version, network protocol, etc. against the target. The other type of scanning type is active scanning, and active scanning is a scanning method whereby you can scan individual endpoints in an IT network to retrieve more detailed information. The active scan involves sending packets or queries directly to a specific asset rather than passively collecting the data by catching it in transit on the network's traffic. Active scanning is an immediate deep scan performed on targets to get detailed information. These targets can be a single endpoint or a network of endpoints. Now, scanning techniques, so there's network scanning, and a network scan is usually a collection of interconnected hosts or computers to share information and resources. Network scanning helps to discover and map a complete network, including any live computers or hosts, open ports, IP addresses, and services running on any live host and operating system. Once the network is mapped, an attacker executes exploits as per the target system and services discovered. For example, a computer in a network with an outdated Apache version enables an attacker to launch an exploit against a vulnerable Apache server. So in computer networking, a port is the number assigned to uniquely identify a connection endpoint and to, and to direct data to a specific service. At the software level within an operating system, a port is a logical construct that identifies a specific process or a type of network service. So port scanning is a conventional method to examine open ports in a network capable of receiving and sending data. First, an attacker maps a complete network with installed devices, hosts like firewalls, routers, servers, then scans open ports on each live host. Port numbers vary between 0 and 65,536. Based on the type of service running on the computer, port scanning results fall into the following three categories. Closed ports, which is the host is not listening on that specific port. Open ports, the host is actively listening on that port. And then filtered ports, this indicates that the port is open, however the host is not accepting connections or accepting connections as per certain criteria, like specified source IP address. Vulnerability scanning proactively identifies the network's vulnerabilities in an automated way that helps determine whether the system may be threatened or exploited. Free and paid tools are available that help to identify loopholes in a target system through a pre-built database of vulnerabilities. Pentest is widely used tools such as Nessus and Nacunetics to identify loopholes in a system. Scanning tools. We have the network mapper, Nmap. Nmap is a popular tool used to carry out port scanning, discover network protocols, identify running services, and detect operating systems on live hosts. You can learn more about the tool by visiting several uh, rooms on TryHackMe. So there's Nmap, Nmap Live Host Discovery, Nmap Basic Port Scan, and Nmap Advanced Port Scan. So deploy the virtual machine, which we've done on the top right. You can access the tools needed by the start attack box button. Wait for it to load. So we will go here and we'll do start attack box. Okay, so the attack box has finally loaded and we'll go back to where we were before with nmap. So we will go into the terminal. We will type nmap dash lowercase s capital case s. Then we will 10.10.204.110. Let's run that. And we can see on the target machine, it has SSH open on port 23, HTTP open on port 80, NetBIOS-SSN on port 139, and Microsoft DS on port 445. So the scan we did was a TCP SYN scan, which starts the TCP through a handshake, and if it gets a response, it knows that the port is open. We can also do a ping scan with nmap-sn 
and then the IP address of 10.10.204.110. So if you run that, we can see that the host is up and available. We can then do an operating system scan by doing nmap capital O, then the IP address of 10.10.204.110. And after running that, we can see. Actually, we can't see what operating system it is, since there's no exact OS match for the host. So we can go on, next on to detecting services. So that's nmap s capital V, then the IP address. Should have been clear that your machine will have a different IP address, so you won't be typing 10.10.204.110. Sorry, type in your one for these. So nmap sv. And we, can, and we can see on SSH it's running open SSH version 7.6p1 then on 8, port 80 it's running an Apache web server version 2.4.29 and the other services it's running. Another tool that can be used is called Nikto. It's an open source software that allows scanning websites for vulnerabilities. It enables looking for subdomains, outdated servers, debug messages on a website. So in the attack box we can do nikto-host and we can put in the IP address of attack box which is 10.10.204.110 and then we can specify port with a colon 80 for the web server that's running on it so we can run that so it's finished running and not exactly certain what it's found it doesn't appear to be much so let's just carry on uh, so l 3 McRed ran mmap and Nikto tools against a QA server to find the list of open ports and vulnerabilities he noticed a Samba service running. Hackers can gain access to the system through loosely protected Samba share folders that are not protected over the network. He knows that the Bandit Yeti APT got a few lists of admin usernames and passwords for QA Santa gift shop using OSINT techniques. Let's connect it to the Samba service using the credentials we found through the source code. Type the following command. So we'll go smb colon slash slash, then the IP address, and enter. Oh my bad, this is meant to actually be done in File Explorer, so let's go to wherever it is on this box. If I can find... Okay, so if you're using the attack box, it's a program called Kaja, I think. C-A-J-A. So we'll type in SME colon slash slash in the IP address. Press enter. And then we can try enter the admins directory here. So in the previous challenge we saw in the config.php file there were a bunch of credentials. So that's where we're gonna we're gonna use those for this. So we go to registered user. The username is Ubuntu and the password is Santa with a capital S at NTA 2022 and we'll do connect. So we've now connected to the SMB admins directory. Seems like we're onto the challenges now. So what is the name of the HTTP server running on the web ser remote server? So when we ran nmap-sv, uh, I think it was, we saw that an Apache web server was running, so you enter that. What is the name of the service running on port 22 on the QA server? So port 22 is used for SSH, allows you to remotely connect to your system. What flag can you find after successfully accessing the Samba service? So if we go into this flag.txt file, we have the flag right here. So we can copy and paste that here and submit. What is the password for the username Santa HR? So if we go into this users list, we can see Santa HR has a password of Santa25. So if you're wanting to learn more about Nmap on TryHackMe, they have a room at slash module slash Nmap. And that is now day four completed of TryHackMe's advent of cyber. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos I do for advent of cyber 2022.